Hey guys, let's take a look at the aerial view of Etowah Mounds. You're looking at the tallest mound, which is 63 feet tall, taller than a six-story building, and covers more than three acres of land. I like to call this the Great Pyramid of Georgia because it does resemble many of the Mayan pyramids, which have flat tops. You can see the modern stairway, but even before that, the mound builders had built a solid stairway, some of which is still underneath what you see. Archaeologists guesstimate that this was built about a thousand years ago, but they've also found pottery from 200 BC to 600 AD, which means that this site can even be more than 2,000 years old. In a minute, you'll see other mounds as well because this site stretches for over 54 acres. And this is the panoramic view that the mound builders could see from up top. You can also see a smaller rectangular mound which is 10 feet tall. And now to the left you can see another circular mound which is 25 feet tall. Now the circular mound is not a perfect circle but somewhat resembles a pentagon. There are three small mounds, but you can't see them because they've been nearly plowed down. At the top of the mound, there is a large flat area. It was obviously used for some valuable purpose, but nobody knows what it was used for. To the left, you can see a ramp in the shape of a giant Z. I will explain this in a minute. And flying about a thousand feet above the ground, you can see the river on the left. Almost all the mounds in the U.S. are built near rivers or at least creeks. This is the Z-shaped ramp I was talking about. They might have created this to move heavy material to the top of the pyramid. This is the most practical, logical way to think about this. And I actually walked up on this ramp. And you can see the staging area in the middle, which is large enough to turn an object and move in the opposite direction. Large buildings could have been built on top of the mound and the ramp would have been crucial for that. In 2005, experts used magnetometers and announced that a total of 140 buildings existed on the site. This means that they could detect walls of baked bricks and magnetic stones such as basalt and granite. So, what is so mysterious about the Etowa Mounds? Everything, actually. We don't know who built them, why, or when. On top of that, giant skeletons were found right under the mounds, 
confirming that giant mound builders built these fabulous structures. The artifacts found here are also very mysterious. Birdmen, figures with horns and unusually large teeth are some of the items that they found. Here's the moat that was created around the mounds, possibly for protection. Very large and not built as a circle, but meanders around like a snake. This is just like a medieval castle and you can see that there is no moat right in front of the large mound. Perfect way to regulate traffic. This moat is about 8 feet deep and they probably even used boats because canoes have been found. I hope you enjoyed a piece of ancient America. Please subscribe for more. Thank you for watching and talk to you soon.